Now, me being me, um, before I put the carburetor on, I just wanted to check the fuel line. Now, um, the fuel line seemed okay when I took the carburetor off, but I was still having a few issues with it intermittently uh, not going through the fuel line. So, what I've decided to do is I'm going to take this petrol tank off here. Now, to take the petrol tank off one of these is basically a, a nut that sits on the underside of the tank, which is uh, it's quite difficult to film really, but uh, there's, one, there's one that fits on here. And the bottom of there, I've just taken that one off, and there's also two little nuts that you need to undo there. And what happens is this plastic, uh, this plastic guard normally sits up there. Once you undo the nut and pull this down, it just moves it out of the way, and you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to take these two off. I'm going to lift this tank off, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to siphon all the petrol out of it first. I'm just going to take it all out. I'm going to blow it all out with an airline, make sure it's nice and dry and clean, and I'm not going to have any problem with uh, stale fuel or dirty fuel or bits or anything going into the carburetor. Make sure the filter's clean and everything. So it's only three nuts to take off once you know where they are and you've worked it out. So I'm going to remove this petrol tank just for good measure, really. So I've cleaned the carb and it's uh, a bit silly uh, not taking the tank off while I've got all the panels off as well. So I've removed those two nuts from under there. There's also this. Little uh, connector to take off, basically uh, very simple, just a little clip on here to push that. Just undo this wiring. Hopefully, this, uh, this tank comes free now. And you just pull it up, and we'll just keep an eye on the fuel line. We'll pull that out as well. So just lift it off the uh, off the bike. There we go. It's off. Basically, there's your fuel lines and uh, bits that go to the carburetor, your wiring connector. So you can tell there's a little bit of petrol in there. I'm going to siphon that out. What I'll probably do is. Uh, Use a compressor that I've got over there, a little compressor under there under the bench. I'll probably just blow back up and down these fuel lines a few times, make sure I've got any uh, any debris out. Um, and then just to make sure it's blown dry, I'll probably leave it out on a nice warm day. Just make sure it's evaporated any uh, stale fuel or anything that might be in the bottom of the tank. Make sure it's nice and dry. And uh, I'm going to put this back on and then after that hopefully we'll get this carburetor on and get this running a bit better again. I've got this petrol tank just upside down on the bench now, I've actually uh, just siphoned the petrol out of it. And I've just undone this, uh, which is the filter part of it, on the bottom. Um, what I did is, without to save rounding anything off, one really handy tool I've got here is uh, this impact driver. I just put that on and just give it a couple of taps and it's loosened these off nicely because I think these were going to be uh, a little bit tricky without that. So, as you can see, I'm just about to pull this off and just see exactly what we've got here. There's your fuel line, it actually doesn't drop in from the top of course, it goes in from the side. As you can probably see here, it's uh, pretty manky, it's a, lot of, uh, a lot of dirt really in there, I'm going to have to take this off. It's in two pieces with a, a gasket there, as you can see, try and prise those apart and have a look in there. Make sure that's nice and clean as well, but that certainly won't be up in the fuel flow. The pipes are okay, I've held them up to this uh, that's this light that I've got here, I can see straight through them, so I'll give them a blowout and uh, clean this up really, just uh, make sure that it's filtering the fuel through and we've got a nice clean petrol tank. Now I've got the uh, petrol tank back on, I've got the uh, the connector back up, That just this little connector on the top by the way, this is a fuel sensor, this just tells, uh, from there's a float inside, it just tells the, uh, the electrical system how much petrol you've got working on the float, it sends it all back, so I've got that back on. I've got some fuel in, I've got the uh, the car back on as you can see, I bolted that back on. I've got the uh, the fuel pipe on, this is a vacuum pipe on the back, which is around here as you can see. Um, and just at the back here, this tiny little pipe here, this is where the, uh, the oil comes in that mixes automatically. This is a Yamaha Auto Lube, it just wants pushing on, and you see the, the brass on the end of there. Now, when I initially put this back together, the... Uh, the bike would start and run, but what would happen is it just run and it just got faster and faster and faster and faster, basically for 30 seconds and then uh, cut out, which um, was a sign of it not getting any oil into the mix. So what I had to do is, um, if you take any of these auto loop pipes off, which is here, what you must do, you can either you can drain the air, air out from them, you have to bleed the air out. What I did with this is I just pulled this pipe off the back here and I just took a, a little syringe like this and put it in the end of the pipe, basically drew it until I drew all the air out of the pipe because if you're not getting any, uh, if you're not getting any two stroke going into this carb it's not mixing with the fuel, it's just running on pure fuel and of course it will run really really fast which it did so luckily I realised what it was and stopped it quickly so now I've pulled it through 
and um, the bike starts up nice. I've just done a bit of alterations on the cab. I've just uh, this is your idle screw. I've just set that so it's idling nicely. I've got a new air filter to put in the air filter box. I'm going to pop that back on. So the cab's nice and clean. The uh, the tank's nice and clean, and the filter inside, all the lines are clean. Everything's connected back up. Um, one thing really just to remember to do is just to uh, if you if you're struggling with it revving really really high it's just the uh, you need to get some oil through into the cab to get it in the mix so uh, most people probably wouldn't know that so it's um, it's probably going to help some people who are watching this video so everything's looking uh, nice and clean if you were uh, seeing here as well if you want to know your throttle cable's working okay if you if you do the throttle you'll see this actually move up and down you see if anything's sticky or anything like that so I'll just go through it again in case it's helping anyone out. This is your fuel line, the one behind it. This is your basically your throttle. This is a metal part. You just screw it back into here. The one behind it here, which goes into the top and sits on there, that's like a vacuum pipe that got, actually goes to an overflow of the petcock, which is below this uh, below the petrol tank, as I showed you. And the little one at the back, which is here, that's your oil, and that will go from this tank here, which is two-stroke oil. I just want to top it up actually and that will go into your car so make sure you've got all those things connected up correctly and uh, it'll run nice so I've got some panels to put back on and I've also got these uh, these wires to connect up on the back of the lights I don't like the connectors on there they're a real mess so I'm going to cut those off and I'm probably going to crimp those up actually and just put them back on but it's um, I've got no battery on at the minute because I've flattened the battery messing about with things so I'm charging that up but uh, just for one kick off, it's kicking off really nice, it's going straight onto idle and it's revving up properly. It actually runs at full throttle with no problems whatsoever now because I've got that gasket, uh, the inlet manifold gasket on the back as well. That's all working right, new plug. So, so far we've uh, 